Hi guys, it's Terry with the Covered Chipboard. Um, if you've been following my blog for the last uh, couple of days, I got the Cricut knife blade and I have a project that I'm in the process of. The first part of the project was the mums using the stamp listic um, stamps and die cuts or die sets. So that's been posted on my blog. I believe it's also posted on my Covered Chipboard Facebook site and my YouTube page. So this is the second part of the project. It's also the first cuts with the knife blade on chipboard using the Cricut Maker. So I've previously calibrated my machine to use the knife blade. Oops, I'm sorry. Did I just make y'all sick? <laughs> don't, don't throw up or anything. And I've installed my um, uh, knife blade. I'll show you how to do that real quick. There are videos on my blog posted. Um, when you get this, it comes with a little clear cap on the end. This is your safety cap. It's also what you use to change your blades with, so do not lose this cap. Do not lose it. So I've got it in there. Um, all you do basically is you want to put it in and kind of make sure that your um, the wheels, the grooves and the wheels line up, and that's pretty easy. It just kind of slides in there. And you want to make sure that there's no space between this, uh, the bottom, which is this little silver rim right here. You want to make sure it's laying flush on top of your housing right there, and that's pretty easy to do. I mean, it's really pretty simple. You just want to make sure it's down. And once it's in, you push your lever, lever over and then put the clamp down. And this is your B clamp. It um, only goes in the B clamp. It will not work if you put it over here. So it has to go in the B clamp. So my machine's calibrated. I've got my uh, wheel installed. I have my chipboard firmly applied to the strong grip map. So I've just taped it all the way around. I'm sorry, I can't get a full picture on here. So I'm going to slide this in. Whoops, there's a little piece of something right there. I'm going to get that out of there. Also, your wheels, uh, these little white things, your little wheels, you want to make sure all four of them are pushed completely over to the right side. That's so that it won't dent your surface or interfere with the cuts. So I'm going to slide this in. I'm go I already have the project set up in design space and I've chosen heavy chipboard as my material. I'm going to hit the go button and it should just start cutting, I believe. Let's see what it says. It says long cut time, material mat, press go. So as soon as it's flashing, now you can see the Cricut uh, button is flashing, so I'm going to press the Cricut button, and it's going to start, and I guess it's setting the depth for the blade. Hopefully everything's right here, and I think here it's going to start. There it goes. Oh, that's so funny. It looks like it's turning the blade as it cuts. Now, don't worry if it cuts your blue painter's tape. That's not an issue. That'll come right off. It won't interfere with the cuts at all. That surely is not one time cutting through. No, here we go. Let's see. Okay, on design space, it's telling me cut two of 20. And 11 minutes waiting. So I'm just gonna let this run. I will probably cut a lot of this out. In fact, I may just stop the machine or stop the video and then 
as it gets to the last cut, turn the video back on. So I'll let this cut and I'll be back. Okay, it's now down to cut 20 of 20. This should be the last cut. Um, you can see where there's bits from the material. This is interesting. It's for the last one, it's cutting the wrong way. So I'm going to try to kind of wipe this off if I can a little bit. And we'll see. So there's the last cut. Let's remove it. And I'm going to take this to my desk. It looks like it's okay. I'm going to remove the blade and just check it. It does not look like there's any little bits and pieces that are stuck up in there. Or that it is gunky from the tape at all. So I think that's fine. So I'm going to put my blade back in. Close the little holder and shut the clamp. Whoops. Yeah, that's in there right. Okay. So I'm going to stop the video now. Okay, I've moved you to my other desk now. So let's take this tape off. I think, if you'll notice, I don't know, if, if I would guess over time if, if it cut a lot of this, uh, this is why you should use a different kind of tape, um, if it cut a lot of this tape, the, the blade might get a little sticky or gunky, so that's something to consider. Also, maybe not placing as much of the tape onto the chipboard. If you maybe just placed it on just the very outside edge, that might be a better idea. Get all this tape off of here. It did leave quite a few little bits, so I can see where they say to check it and make sure when it's going this piece off and get this other piece off now I did not double check this before I removed it to see if it um, cut all the way through I'm just going to assume that it has and we will see and where this tore like this, I'm not real concerned because I can always use the opposite side if I want. Let me and let's pop this off the mat and see what happens. It feels like to me that it did. It cut right through it. Look at that. Now, once this side is really good, nice clean cuts. This side is a little jaggy. So that's something to think about. If you have a design that you're cutting, you probably would want to reverse it. And then you can use this side, which will probably give you the nicer cuts. It did come up on the edge a little bit right here, but that's easily, you can just take your fingernail and mash that down. The circle, the circle did fairly well. It did, the machine did get hung up at one point. Uh, I think just, on this side, you can see some of the pieces came up, and I think they got in the way, so it the machine stopped, and it told me um, that your that my blade was stuck. I couldn't see any debris in the way, and I couldn't see how it was stuck, so I went ahead and just hit the go button again and let it continue, and it went on just fine. So. You can see there's a little bit of a rough edge here, but you can take a tool and smooth that out if you want. I'm trying to find, there's my little. Do not ask me where I got this from, but it's a file. Um, it was my father, so that means it's probably about 70 or 80 years old. But I use it a lot, and you can take and do this on your chipboard to smooth out. 
some of the edges. And then when you paint your chipboard, that's not going to show. So, so cut one. I'm pretty pleased. Uh, it does not look like that it cut. It did not cut through the mat, I don't believe. Let's see here. Well, maybe just a hair, but not a lot. So I'm going to have to clean all of this stuff off before I continue. So I'm going to stop the video, and then we'll go on and do the second. I'll go ahead and finish the cutting of the other pieces, and then I'll be back for the project. 